Alrighty, um, the following three battles are all from the, uh, I believe they're all from the next week. Uh, I'm so lost in where we actually are right now. Um, and I am just catching up on my streaming. Uh, so this first battle, I might as well go ahead and start it, will be Cathay, which is Squid versus Panda and his... Uh, Demons of Chaos, which is our kind of modified rules. Um, now we all have Regiments of Renown available to us. Which should make things pretty interesting. With, uh, you know, Demons of Chaos got a huge buff by those Regiments of Renown since that gives them four Regiments of Renown. Uh, they get all four of the, the elite... Um, Demon infantry. Since all of, all four uh, demon factions got an elite demon unit, not an elite mortal unit. And Cathay got, I think it was the Dune Raiders or something like that, which are very useful against demons with their uh, magic attacks. I forget whether or not would brought them though. You know, since since I started on the list that showed their reinforcing armies, you would have thought I would have looked at something like that, but that would have made sense, and that's what not what we're he about here. You know, thinking about it, yes, I think all three of these replays are all from the same week as my last one, which was Danny's and. S Super cabbies, but uh, I don't like. I posted up this week's matches, and like, I don't even know who I face. I don't remember anything about it. Grand Canyon cannons immediately going off, shooting at the Nurglings. Like, I've seen what these Grand Cannons can do. He he could be just chucking the the. Cannon into the uh, Demon Prince here. Uh, definitely not worth it, in my opinion, to be shooting a 350-point unit. I don't know how far these Grand Cannons can shoot. Yeah, there we go. Much better to shoot the Blue Whores. Uh, I still think the, uh, the Plague Ridden or the uh, Demon Prince. Since since the demons of chaos so heavily rely on their their demon prince um panda though does have just kind of the optimal setup just the the blender of a uh, close combat demon prince with uh bringing the the corn one and uh a plague ridden of nurgle with only fleshy abundance Looks like he is summoning in some of the new 50 cal crane gunners. Re, uh, redeploying some forces over to the left here. Uh, shotgun gals coming around along with the Jade Warrior crossbowmen. And then pushing up to point one here is uh, Jade Warriors with halberds and some peasant longspears. You know what? I watched this battle live. I don't remember much of it. But I watched it from the Cathay side. So I'm going to change my what I'm watching. <laughs> so it looks like, uh, yeah, they, uh, the blue horse did suffer from the Grand Cannon there. Um, I don't think you need to hide the Nurgling. Like, I just, I think any, any ammo that is wasted from the Grand Cannon on the Nurglings is probably almost worth it. It looks like uh, harpies are immediately coming. Har harpies, furies are immediately coming over. Uh, but as we've seen in the past, the iron hail gunners are basically like AA guns for this type of thing. Uh, the other iron hail gunner got jumped on, but then yeah, you should have probably stayed there. This one just immediately got wrecked by everything around it. Um, but it does cover the entrance of the uh, 
coordinate Demon Prince getting in and just going to town on Jade Warriors. Uh, they are already down four models with just one hit. The uh, Halberd's not coming in yet. I think that was a, a missed opportunity there. No idea where these peasant horsemen are going. I, oh, I guess capture point three. Let's see, what else am I missing here? Okay, so over here we have Nurglings that are taking on the Jade Warriors with Halberds, but are about to be hit hard in the flank by some Seekers, along with Peasant Long Spearmen, which just are not going to last long. Seekers hitting flanks of good units generally don't allow them to last long. And then that's another unit of Jade Warriors coming over. These Flamers will make, uh, I don't even think they need to be over here, but... But it looks like everything's just getting a little bit damaged. Squid is definitely doing a little bit of hit and run here. With his uh, Prince of Slaughter. The, uh, it looks like the Ox themselves are trying to run away at this point. Two cannons are still firing off. But uh looks like Cannonball's just kind of hitting the, the wall there. More <laughs> Seekers coming in. Or, no, those were the same Seekers. They're just cycle charging here. Uh, for the next unit of Jade Warriors, the Flamers. Coming up the hill. See where are these cannonballs going? I guess shooting at the uh, Seekers here. We have a victory point. Keep it from the foe. Let's, let's, let's do this here. Where's print screen? There it is. There we go. I know there's a way to hide banners and stuff. I don't know it. Maybe we don't have it for three. Okay, well, whatever. I have that. So, it does look like the Plague Ridden is going down quite fast along with the Lord. But, I mean, you have Crane Gunner shooting, two units of Iron Hail Gunner shooting, and then Halberds on top. Well, no. There's, that's way too many hit points. I do not think the Plague Ridden is going down. Even with all the additional fire coming in, that's still 3,000 hit points. It has to lose. Uh, big engagement going on down here. Uh, it does look like Squid might push through this middle point, but the uh, Demon Prince coming over here. Peasant, oh, Peasant Horseman charging the back uh, will not help the situation, and that is definitely going to charge up this Demon Prince. Looks like the Plague Ridden did finally get out of there. Um, the fact that it got out of there means pathing has become better. Flamers are, are being pot-shotted here. They have lost four of their models already. I'm guessing uh, it's just, yeah, it's these Kraken Gunners doing work. Well, only two from that, but... Charging Seekers headlong into uh, Jade Warriors, where uh, Squid has brought out a Terragata Sentinel. Probably one of the few things that can just absolutely mutilate the opponent. Uh, it looks like the first Regiment of Renown is out on the pitch. Uh, so, so much for this push from Squid, because uh, these Festering Sieges... Uh, with no fire damage whatsoever on the pitch uh, to slow them down like they're just not going to die and then looks like the flamers came around reorganized to shoot down the flanks here um do you think these seekers need to kind of get out maybe wrap around this way hit the back of here i get you're trying to protect here um but you have your flesh hounds you have nerglings here now they will stay for a while these are these are thousand point units, which aren't super expensive for or for what they are. I think they are actually a really great value, but that doesn't mean you just want them to just die in battle. Uh, I did miss these heart seekers kind of coming up here. It looks like Panda just keeps poking and prodding up here. Uh, he is keeping the Dune uh, dragons up here. He is keeping uh, the Iron Hail gunners kind of back here, which is. Um, really kind of unfortunate because the iron hail gunners are so short range so these pokes and prods like the only thing the iron hail gunners are really doing are protecting themselves and maybe this the, the two remaining cannons but 
it's like like if your goal is to protect your spawn point and yourself then like panda doesn't need to be engaged in this I, like i think it's like it's not a dumb move because squid is keeping so much back here like these dune dragons are not being engaged where they can actually cut through demons which is what they're really really good at like if they're if they were over here this would be falling so much faster um two terracotta sentinels now heading over to point one um they will capture that uh it looks like they had uh like those peasants did capture over here but like the dune dragons could be pushing over here and just hold point three forever if they're just going to sit around and do nothing they could be coming around here and could have helped with this middle push uh, instead, they are on lookout duty for, like, range fire that is also here to, just to protect themselves. And it just, yeah, it seems a little bit redundant to have so much up here. Because it's not like they're even being kept near the crane gunners, which, let's see. Like, I'm clicked on the crane gunners. Give, give me here. Okay. They have definitely paid for themselves. Uh, I'm guessing damage is value. Most of it has just gone into this demon prince, which is the fact that it is still alive is just amazing. But yeah, those festering stooges are just going to exist on point two. Uh, that might be what the dune dragons are really great at taking out. But yeah, and it does look like peasant horsemen are not going to be be able to beat back these nurglings do these peasant spearmen they should be in my opinion they should be the ones up here and these dune dragons even at seven, 73 out of 100 models should be the ones that are going down here they're just like the magic attack alone is just worth way too much and it's uh anti-large and i believe the nurgling someone told me they count as large because their their swarm counts as a large nope still a small entity whoever told me that lied but yeah with the score the way it is um it does look like the demon prince went down when i wasn't looking Heart seekers are still bouncing around. But yeah, th this push was just too little too late. Protecting your range units to protect your spawn. Just, I think that alone. Just, I mean, that kept three, four units back here. That could have been used for a push anywhere else. I think if the dune dragons were down here. They would have held on to this point here. Uh, point one, or point three, I guess. I, I've given up on guessing which points are which. Um, Jade Lancers aren't great by any means, but I do think you need at least one or two units of them. Just so you have something that's faster moving that can actually hit. Because Peasant and Horsemen uh, are about as useful as uh, Core Knight uh, war Warhounds. Now the ta tattered forces charge down the hill. We, we'll go ahead and speed up the end here. The dune dragons, let's see. They have 845, 23 kills. Oh, we don't even get to that. So the overall, I think Kislev either making just one slow push to one side or the other. But just kind of staying bottled up as long as they did. Um without being able to take out the demon prince uh was probably not a good idea because they had no way of crippling uh the demons of chaos they, they literally just got hit by wave after wave it was good that they captured uh point three over here and they eventually pushed at like an actual force out and captured point one but then staying back here with short range forces that aren't doing anything like if the crossbowmen were up here and shooting in or something like that uh, it would have been a different story, but they literally sat back here and did nothing. Um, 
other than maybe protect the two cannons that were firing, which were useful because they were helping over here, but like they didn't defend this point at all. They weren't helping at this point until the very end. So overall, uh, a little bit faster there. I, I mean, I think Cafe's gonna have a hard time no matter what, and I think Demons of Chaos, even with the the uh, rules and nurse we've given them. Um, with Panda being kind of a beginner player for multiplayer, like they're like if he's still doing this well uh, against our champion from our previous tournament, and none of us are uh, like god tier players by any means, but this shouldn't have been the kind of domination it was. Uh, so Demons of Chaos really powerful. Squid chose Cathay because he thought they were a little bit un underpowered, and uh, yeah, it looks like they are. So, uh, next recording, next, uh, cast.